today we're going to be revisiting an older video to see what sold, what I made a profit on, and what I probably could have left on the shelf. I am going to edit a video here this morning and then um, I'm gonna take you guys to Goodwill. So I'm gonna spare you all the details of editing the video and uh, I will see you guys at Goodwill. Okay, well here we are at the Goodwill. So it's been about two weeks since I was here last and I feel kind of like we're starting fresh. Maybe, we'll see. <laughs> There's probably gonna be some stuff still on the shelves. This reminds me of that piece that had dead flowers. I can't remember if we saw that here or not though. 99 on that. I like this Doberman thing down here. You know Doberman. 3.99. You know what? I'll pick that up. I don't come across a lot of Doberman pieces. Oh my! Will you look at that? Sylvester, handcrafted for Sylvester, made in Taiwan. That's a really nice glass apple, though. It has kind of a texture to it, so I almost wonder if the gold is applied to the outside rather than inside the glass. A buck ninety-nine, absolutely. That pearl china. Hmm. That'd be pearl. It's one ninety-nine. It's probably like eight to twelve. I like the gold handles and the contrast with that light blue. So I'll pick that up for a buck ninety-nine. Isn't that pretty? One ninety-nine. It's a little bit uh schmutzy. <laughs> But I feel like with a magic eraser or something, you probably clean that up. It's only a buck ninety-nine. We're doing all right today for our first day back out. So our total spend there at the Goodwill today was right around thirteen dollars. Um, my favorite piece was probably the glass apple. I get really excited about glass fruit. I'm not sure exactly why, but that's definitely my favorite. I ended up leaving behind um, the communion crucifix thing. I did not have a price on it, and when um, the young woman checking me out called to get a price on it, nobody came. So <laughs> she was just gonna give it to me, and I didn't wanna get anyone in trouble, so I refused it. And perhaps if it's there the next time, I will pick it up, but um, yeah. So we did not get that and that is fine, uh, but our total spend was right around $13. Now, I am back at the shop. Um, I decided to bring you guys back here. I have uh, auction winnings from two weeks ago, right before Laurel was born, and I have to start digging through those boxes, otherwise I'm going to get behind. I'm already a little bit behind because I took a break from listing about a week break, um, so now I have to get back to it, and we have to get through these boxes before they start piling up. So. Let's head in the shop and let's go through some auction winnings together. These are the items that survived the box, so these are the most important. We're going to go through these real quick. Uh, this box I have bought and I have sold before, so I know exactly what it was when I saw it in the listing. Um, you can see it kind of has this stained glass on the top. It needs to be cleaned. There's a little signature down in there, and that's George, George Briard. <laughs> and uh, this is a good box. I think this is upwards of... $120. I'm not sure exactly how much, but I know it's worth more than $120. So that was really exciting. Um, I love finding those boxes. And I think that the last one that I had was different colors. I think it was yellow and orange, but I, I don't know. Maybe I'm making stuff up. Uh, here is a purse that was part of a lot. That's not something I would usually buy, uh, especially with the courting scene on it. That's, I don't know. I just have this opposition to courting scenes for some reason. Uh, <laughs> Okay, so there are two bowls here. They're kind of mid-century modern in style. This one is Nambe Classics. I did look these up when I was bidding on them just to get an idea for how much they were worth. It was so long ago now that I cannot recall it off the top of my head. Uh, this one is George Jensen. And George Jensen, I believe, does a lot of jewelry. And apparently bowls. So you can see it. You can maybe see it. It's kind of, kind of iffy there on the bottom, but it is signed. Uh, here is an inkwell. It's missing its well. That is brass. I think that was an extra in a lot. Unless Andrew was bidding on that. Here are two Tonella birds. 
One has a bunny on it and one has a a bird of some sort, maybe a swan. Uh, I don't see any markings on these though. So no markings, but they are made in Mexico. Um, this lamp, <laughs> I paid a lot for this lamp because I was just mesmerized by it. I think it's absolutely stunning. I believe there is a chimney somewhere in possibly another box, but it is signed on the bottom if I recall. You can see, um, and I cannot remember the artist. But it is, it is a good piece, so I was really excited about that. And then I, of course, have just a few more boxes to get through. But it's not all that discouraging because Andrew has been putting less items in the boxes. So it looks like a lot, but it's really not that bad. So there you have it. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description. If you enjoyed this video, we will be posting videos just like this every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So make sure you stay tuned, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and I have included a link to the playlist down in the description.